I love a really greasy pizza with loads of garlic and herb dip. A chicken burger is well up my street. Burritos. Oh, what else? Really greasy, like Chinese food is brilliant. A Thai curry is also pretty awesome. I'm excited about going to LA to have an In-N-Out burger, um, animal style. Basically anything you can cover in cheese and fried onions, that's, that's a win. Um, yeah, tacos, oh, I don't know. The lot, as you can tell, I'm pretty obsessed with food. Barbecue, American barbecue. We don't have that, we don't really have it in the UK. It's starting to come over now, but like you take pulled pork and brisket so for granted here. It's like, I mean, when, when we first came to the States, that blew my mind, blew my mind. Barbecue sauce, basically just sugar poured over stuff. Yeah, you know what else? We had a, we had an American friend in, in, in London for Thanksgiving and they were like, they wanted to cook us Thanksgiving dinner. There was some like sweet potato thing where you put marshmallows on top and melt them. As if sweet potatoes weren't sweet enough as they are, let's put marshmallows on them and melt them. That was pretty cool. And then we've not even got into like, like candy or sweets or anything like that. But I don't know why, but I'm just thinking about one of the Cooper's vomits a lot. I loved it. I'm actually re-watching it again at the moment. When I first watched it, it was annoyingly fragmented, my watching of it, and now I'm kind of enjoying it as a whole thing. Um, it's super brave. For, the, for that to be mainstream TV, it was like very much in the same vein as Inland Empire and like um, Fire Walk With Me. Like there's elements of the same tone and some of the, and, and the same characters, but it's way darker, way more surreal. In one of the first couple of episodes, there's this just kind of mad, sequence where this prolonged surreal sequence where he's like in space in this mad house i was just watching it and i think some of my friends were there and they're like what are you watching like what is this i met david lynch once we did a remix of one of his songs and he really liked it and so he invited me around his house to hang out for a bit it was pretty like kind of surreal hills like it was very lost highway um he was just really lovely. He was such a nice guy and he was really kind of asked me lots of questions about the band and was sort of really interested. And for me growing up, he was like my like rock star idol, even though he, you know, is more a director than a musician, but I just looked up to him so much. So to meet him was totally bizarre and but but a really nice experience. You hear people talk all the time about meeting their idols and it's like a letdown. But yeah, this was this was really great. I don't actually know when the seasons fall here, which is really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm just I'm gonna put let's let's put let's put it down to like me being stupid, not evasive. New song is called Quarter Past Midnight. It's the opening track of our new album. It's kind of about trying to capture that feeling of excitement, not wanting the night to end, and you're throwing yourself sort of head and face first into whatever's going to happen in the night and all the embarrassing, good, bad, ugly things that might happen. There's a kind of like slightly 90s rave feel that litters through the album. They used to do these huge raves where you'd like, you'd like call up a number to find out where it was and you just go there. There was something in that that we wanted to kind of like emulate a little bit, but it's sort of just wound up being people calling this number and potentially leaving a voicemail for me or or getting through to me, actually. And um, it's been a really nice way to just to chat to a bunch of different fans around the world. It had been a porn studio and then for a year it was an office. So luckily the, the people that turned it into an office, the stories they told us about the, sh the stuff they cleared out sounded like, I mean, have you seen the movie Saw? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so luckily, we weren't involved in the uh, the old cleaning cleaning process, but um, I like to think that the spirit of that and what happened there is still kind of somewhere in the bricks. But yeah, yeah it's uh, a pretty different vibe now. 